It's me. Okay, boys. Let's take our first step into the Pokemon adventure. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be a Pidgey. Are the only two Pokemon that are around here are Pidgeys and Rattatas? Rattatas? Rattata? I'm probably gonna get a lot of names of Pokemon incorrectly. So let me know if I'm pronouncing these names right. Rattata. Rat Rattata. Rattata. It's a- let's go. It's like I saw all one million possibilities and I knew Pidgey would be the one. Hit him with that tackle. Also, if you kill the Pidgey- If you kill the Pidgey, that's it, dude. You cannot catch that shoot. Alright, boy. Hit him with that pocket ball. Skirt. If you get out of this ball, I will be ashamed and disappointed. Because I need all the money I can get. I need money for potions and antidotes. Thank you, sir. Give a nickname to the captured Pidgey. Let's name him... Where's K? Scry. Hit him with the scry. Because that's the noise it makes. It goes, scry. <laughs> Freaking annoying bird. Alright, heal that crap up. Grab some potions, grab some antidotes. We are taking our Pokemon to the next level. We already don't have to worry about Brockus. Because we got that fat Bulbasaur. Okay, Scry. Let's get you some levels there, bud. <laughs> Antidotes are important because back in the day, I don't know if you guys, you know, you guys started playing Gen, so Gen 6, Gen 7. Poison would eventually run out in those days, but back in the day, Pokemon would kill your antidote would kill your Pokemon dead. So let's grab six antidotes. No, get me out of here. I'm a celebrity. Give me four potions and give me all the Pokeballs you can manage. I don't need no freaking paralyzed heal. I ain't facing Lieutenant Surge yet. All right. So there's a, a sneaky little path over here we can try to nab ourselves like a manky or something. Also, can I get those running shoes, please, sir? Route 22. Alright, let's see what we get, boys. I'm gonna guess a Nido ran. Alright, well, you know, Rattata, it's fine. Uh, as far as sending Scry out first, maybe not the best idea. Because he'll die in two hits. So instead, we will hit him with that Jaffa. Don't you hurt me. Oh my god, he does a lot of damage. Okay. Maybe one more attack. <laughs> Tail Whip's got me a little nervous. He can die to a crit at this point, but don't worry. We're going to catch him right now. Right about now. Funk Soul Brother. Is that how it goes? Don't. Let's go. A female Rattata. What are we going to name him? Okay, give a nickname to the capture of Tata. Let's name him... Her... Surly. You know? Sounds good to me. I like Surly. You guys like Surly? It's like a Surly temple. If you got mice in your Surly temple, you got yourselves a real uh, infestation. Well, the infestation didn't come out until Gen, uh, Gen 7, bud. Don't mind if I do grab that potion real quick. And while I'm here, I'm gonna hit that, uh... I want Pidgey to get Gust. Because then we can start farming Metapods. Oh, farming in my Pokemon game. Yes, please heal my Pokemon. They are badly injured. There's some limitations you can do in Nuzlocke where you do not heal a lot, but... Come on, bud. What do you think this is? A challenge run. Okay, let's hit. Let's try to get all of our Pokemon. We'll just level up Scry one time. Please be something easy. This will be an even keeled battle. Depends who's faster. 
Okay. Okay. Might need to switch off to Ratata. If need be. Oh, dude, that fat crit. Don't mind if I do. Ooh. Kill, please. Let's act. Scry is the god. Quote me on this. Scry is going all the way to the Elite Four, baby. What's your stats looking like? Rash? Mild? Lonely? Alright, well, none of those are very good. Oh no, my Pidgey has a rash. There you go, bud. The Pokemon Center's four freaking steps away. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna go run to the Pokemon Center every five seconds, okay? Oh, a level two Pidgey. Don't mind if I do. All right, hit him with that. Hit him with that floss. Is that what the kids say? The Fortnite lads? This Pidgey put up a fight, but in the end, it's all about them levels, boys. And whoo, another critical. Dude, we should have named this guy Critical. And then he'd make better YouTube videos. No, I'm just I'm just poking fun at myself. Don't mind me. Alright, we got them fat level fours. Every time we kill, all I'm thinking is give me the loot. Because that's all I'm here for. Money doesn't matter. It's all about that fat, those experience points. Injecting experience points directly into my veins. I think a lot of people would agree with me that the game is not over until you, you either fight or you catch Mewtwo. So, I would say, you know, maybe Elite Four is nice, but I'd like to get myself a, I'd like to get myself a Mewtwo. Well, now I've had my coffee, and that's what I need to get going. Ah, you are also a millennial. Hmm, what is that red box you have? Oh, you're working on your Pokedex. Well, let me give you a word of advice. Whenever you catch a Pokemon, the Pokedex automatically updates. It's data. Don't know how to catch a Pokemon? What are you, an old man? I suppose I'd better show you then. He's gonna fight me. Hey, you freaking old man! You can't get a Weedle in the town, you stupid! You even read the encyclopedia, Pokedex, and Poke Encyclopedia. He's full health, what's wrong with you? You're not gonna catch him, he's gonna get out. Wasn't there a game where he could actually escape from the ball? I don't know. Let me know if you guys know if there was a Pokemon game where you could, the Pokemon could escape from the ball in the, uh, the tutorial. Now tell me, that was educational, wasn't it not? Here, take this too. Teachy TV, I forgot about that. Something you don't understand? Watch that. It'll teach you all the basics of being a Pokemon trainer. Well, thank you, random old man. Okay, we're hitting that route. Route 2. Let's see. So if we fight a Pidgey or a Rattata, we can escape it. and uh, Or fight it. You know? You know what I'm saying? And catch something else. So let's, let's see what we got, boys. Yeah, that's gonna be a, a Nah from me, dog. I'll just kill you. Freaking, I hate this YouTuber. He keeps saying you're killing Pokemon. Yeah, I know it's faint, alright? But I ain't, you know, this is this is an adult game now, boys. We're here killing Pokemon. Pokemon eat other Pokemon, alright? Why can't you hit him with a digital dash? Another Pidgey. How dare you? Alright, we might get level 5. Depending on how much damage this does. Okay, well, you know, let's make the right decision. Switch to Surly. Can you take two hits? Yeah, you can. Heck yeah, you can, bud. Let's go! Okay, well that was like basically zero experience. Low, low reward for a lot of risk. So we're switching to Jaffa, not to get Jaffa leveled up, but instead to try to catch a Pokemon. I feel like you can get Nidoran here, right? I don't know, dude. Get out of here. Route 2. Is it really just Pidgeys and Rattatas? No, there's Caterpie too, right? Easy kills. Oh, wow, that's not an easy kill. Jaffa, you gotta work on your attack stat. You gotta work on not getting crit there, bud. 
If you died to a level two Pidgey, I would never, def I would never forgive myself. All right, we'll give it one more try. And there's another part of Route 2. So, if need be... Oh, never mind. We got ourselves a Caterpie. Stringing shot. So that means if we get a Caterpie in the next area, we can uh, hit him with that that dab and uh, try to catch something else. Maybe even a Pikachu. Maybe even a Charizard. Please stop slowing, my man. Alright. Pokeball. Hell yeah, brother. We're gonna catch ourselves a Caterpie. There's some lore that apparently Caterpie... Well, not apparently, but people were speculating that Car Caterpie evolves into Venomoth. And Venonat evolves into Butterfree. Which would be quite interesting, and I, I could see that happening. So let's name him Ven Venmo. Yeah, you know Venmo, like the uh, the app that lets you buy things or share money with people. Venmo. You see it on a lot of people's Twitter. They're like, oh, I don't make art or anything useful, but would you like to Venmo me? Not that you know, not that it's wrong to donate. Just saying, it's not my it's not my gig. I'm a big supporter of Patreon. I think Patreon's cool. People should... I feel like a lot of people use Patreon, though. Like, a lot of art art people. And I support that. I think that's cool. I'm glad that there's a uprising Twitter art sort of fan base going on. Where you can buy commissions and stuff. I follow a lot of artists on Twitter. That's kind of my... If I ever got big on YouTube... I would definitely be getting like sick ass intros, cool ass art, stuff like that. But that's besides the point, because right now, we out here in Viridian Forest. That's it.